Hey my Sky Savers, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kim and this is a World of Sky, a world for women and moms looking to save money and get the most bang for your buck. And today we're talking about my favorite thing, couponing, of course. Today we're gonna talk about coupon myths. These are things that I hear people say all the time and I'm like, girl, that ain't true. That's not true either. So let's talk about the truth when it comes to couponing. Before we get into it, subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so, trust me, your wallet, your purse, your bank account will thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into these lies. These lies about couponing, or should we just call them myths? Whatever, let's talk about the truth. The first thing that I hear is that it takes hours and hours each week to coupon. If the extreme couponing shows are kind of like your only reference to couponing on there, they show these people that spend 40, 60 hours a week on couponing, girl. I know you don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. And you really do not need to spend that much time in order to be effective and save money with couponing. Honestly, you can spend as little time as you want couponing or as much time as you want couponing, but either way, it could be effective with helping you out with your budget. For me personally, I spend about 45 minutes every single week planning my shopping hauls, depending on how many stores that I need to hit up that week that will determine how much shopping time I need. But generally I would say I spend about an hour and a half every single week shopping for those specific items. So totaling that up, that's about two hours and 15 minutes to two and a half hours a week on couponing, that's it. But the savings that I see are huge and it's so worth the time that I do spend on it. But once you have a system in place, it's not going to take you long to do at all. And you just kind of do that same routine every single week. Boom, you have your coupon items, you've saved your money, you've done your job for the week. And just a quick note, you do not have to hit up every single store in your area every single week. That's going to wear you out. That's going to be too much. The goal is to go to the places that have the best deals for the items that you need. The second myth that I hear all the time is that coupons are for poor people. This couldn't be more wrong, okay? In fact, did you know that one in three millionaires, yes, I said millionaires, one in three of them use coupons? Let that sink in. One in three millionaires use coupons. So why do you gotta feel ashamed to use your coupons? You shouldn't. I think coupons have a negative stigma tied to them and they shouldn't because they are a really, really great financial tool to use. Just because you can afford to buy something full price does not mean that you should buy something full price. You feel me? This myth really bothers me because coupons are not a sign of your financial status at all. To me, I see it as being a good financial steward over your money, your finances, and your wealth. I mean, you can take that money that you save couponing and you can save it. You can pay down debt. You can save for retirement. You can put it in your emergency fund. Girl, there's a lot of money. You save a lot of money couponing. Do you see where I'm going with this? Use coupons as a tool. It's actually a very smart resource to put into your plan. The third myth that I always hear is that coupons are just for junk food or they're just for random products that you won't use. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong. So you may think that these coupons are just for like weird, uncommon, useless products in your household. But you'll be glad to know that there are actually coupons for just about everything. Do you like to drink coffee? There's coupons for that. Do your babies wear diapers? There's coupons for that. So there's coupons for like Huggies, Pampers, Loves, The Honest Company when it comes to diapers. Do your pets like to eat food? There's coupons for pets. Do you wash your clothes? There's coupons for that. So you'll find a wealth of coupons for all kind of laundry supplies. So gain, tie, downy, snuggle, the list goes on and on and on. Do you brush your teeth? I hope you brush your teeth. If so, there's coupons for the things that you need to brush your teeth for toothbrushes as well as toothpaste, Crest, Colgate, Arm & Hammer, and many other different brands for your dental needs. So girl, I could go on and on with this, but I won't do that to you. Just know there's probably a coupon for everything that you use. So the coupons are not just for useless or junk food items. The fourth myth is that coupons will always save you money. That's wrong. Coupons will not necessarily always save you money. I mean, coupons are essentially free money, right? They're free money, so I don't understand why people don't use them because it's free money. But you won't always save by just using a coupon randomly. Using your coupon strategically is actually how you save money. You have to know how to properly coupon in order to maximize your savings. But if you just try to go all willy-nilly and just using coupons here and there, you may not save if you don't know what you're doing, okay? 
So with that being said, I do offer a free, it's completely free, a course for beginners on how to get started couponing. I will leave that information in the description box below if you would like to register for the free course and learn some of the basics on how to get started doing this correctly so that you can be strategic and maximize your savings. The next myth is that generic brands are always cheaper than name brands even when you're using coupons. Wrong again! So if you don't know, most manufacturer coupons are for brand name items. You don't typically see a lot of coupons for generic household store brands. So the manufacturer coupons are for brand names and once you use those coupons, with the store sales, so again, going back to being strategic with your couponing, you actually end up paying quite a bit less than if you were to buy the generic brands at the store. So that is why my stockpile is filled with brand name items. I don't have any generic products in my couponing stockpile because it's cheaper to get the brand name. The sixth myth is that you can only find coupons by spending money and purchasing the Sunday newspaper. That's wrong, that's not true. The internet has now allowed us to have several different ways to access coupons. You can actually be very successful at couponing without clipping not even one single coupon, <laughs> not one coupon. So you can go for the digital coupon route instead and you can be very successful with doing it. There is also a wealth of printable coupons online. So it's simple, you can just print off the coupons and take them to the store and use them. And the last myth that I wanna talk about today is that coupons encourage you to buy too much. Now, this one is a little bit true and false. <laughs> okay, the other ones are all false, but this one, it, there's a mix. You do have to have some self-discipline when you coupon and really only focus on the things that you need. So I don't think that you need like 50 bottles of mustard, unless, unless you know you really, really love mustard. But in general, most people or households do not need 50 bottles of mustard. So just because you have a great coupon for mustard doesn't mean that you need to go and collect all those things. So in that case, it can be tempting to buy all of that stuff, but you do have to have some self-discipline. Especially in the beginning, when you're a couponing, it's so exciting. It can become addicting if you're not careful on just kind of building your stockpile, seeing it grow, seeing how much money you're saving but you don't want to overdo it. Remember, saving is the goal and you're not saving if you're buying too much of things that you won't use. That's one mistake that a lot of beginners do do, but check out this video so you can learn all about the things that you should not do and you want to avoid as a beginner couponer. It's super helpful. All right, so those are all the myths. We've debunked the myths. We've talked about why couponing is great, why you need to do it, get into it. So don't forget about that free course for beginners. Check that out in the description box below. Before you go, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I do upload new videos every single week and they are pertaining to saving you money, of course, in some fashion. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you in my next video. Happy saving.